The Cadillac Lyric is the brand's first all-electric vehicle, and it should bring some new buyers to Cadillac. It has good performance numbers. It's comfortable and quiet on the interior. I've driven them quite a bit. It goes far. It's EPA range rated at more than 300 miles, and I actually went 330 miles in my 70 mile an hour highway range test with the Lyric. It also has a peak charging rate of 190 kilowatt. So the range combined with a high charging rate should make it a good road tripper. But the devil's always in the details and what's on paper doesn't always translate to the real world. So we're gonna take a close look at how well the Lyric charges on a road trip in today's video. A couple of months ago, I posted a video of me charging a Lyric from 20% to 80% on an Electrify America 350 kilowatt DC fast charger. And the results weren't really that good. And I had a lot of my followers ask me questions asking, are you sure that it wasn't the charger that was not delivering enough power, which could be the case. So what I did was I rented that Lyric again, and I actually charge it a bunch of times um, from zero to 100 on a number of stations. And I also repeated the test that I did on the Electrify America station. This time I did from 10% to 80% on an EVgo station. And that station is one of the stations that I can rely on. It usually works very well. Actually, I never had any problems with it. When I do my DC fast charging tests on that one station, it always performs as it should. So I was figuring on it, giving me reliable results. So what we're gonna do in the video here today is I'm gonna take the 20% to 80% Electrify America DC fast charge recording and compare it to the 10 to 80% that I did on the 350 kilowatt EV Go charging station. Now I have two uh, separate charge recordings on different networks, on different stations, and the results are similar. So I am thinking that this is how well the Lyric is going to charge. Now the one thing I will qualify and say is since I did these recordings, GM pushed out an over-the-air update, and one of the points of that update was to improve fast charging. However, I've also talked to a bunch of my followers on this, and nobody seems to say that they've noticed any kind of a difference. So the end result is I may have to rent the Lyric again and do it again just to see if the new software update made any difference. But my followers seem to be telling me that really they can't notice a difference in how it charged before to now after they have the update. So we're going to look at the results that I have of these two charge sessions and analyze them and try to figure out how well the Lyric will road trip. Now we know it goes pretty far, particularly if you can uh, keep your speed down. On my 70 mile an hour high range test, it went 330 miles. But then I repeated that range test at 80 miles an hour and I posted a video comparing the Lyric's driving range at 70 miles an hour compared to 80 miles an hour. At 80 miles an hour, it went 245 miles. That's a lot less than it went at 70 miles an hour. But that isn't really something that's Lyric specific. Most electric vehicles, once you get up over 70 miles an hour, really start to lose their range. The wind resistance really takes effect exponentially. So if you wanna go far on a road trip, it is best policy, whatever EV you're driving, to try to keep your speed down a little bit because you'll definitely go farther if you can just shave five or 10 miles off the speed that you would like to go. Now, if you can make it to your destination or make it to the charging station at the speed you wanna drive, have at it. But if you think you might not make it, you really wanna stretch your miles, it's always good to knock that speed down a little bit. Okay, so we know the Lyra can go far, but can it replenish those miles when you're on a road trip? Um, first of all, you want to try to find a 350 kilowatt DC fast charger. If you find 150 kilowatt, the results won't be too much slower than this, but it will be slower because for a period of the charging session, particularly in the very beginning, the Lyric will pull more than 150 kilowatt, but it doesn't do it for long. So my guess is you might only be waiting five minutes longer, maybe four or five minutes longer than the results of this test. Okay, so now we're going to do an analysis of both charge recordings. I'm gonna put them side by side 
We're going to put them on paper after that, see what the charging curves look like, the time to charge charts and all that stuff. So we can really see how long you have to stay at a DC fast charger to replenish the miles that you need to get to your next destination. Both sessions start out good, and the Lyric quickly pulls a peak draw of 187 kilowatts on the Electrify America station and 182 kilowatts on the EVGO. But after only two minutes, the Electrify America station is already ramping down its power delivery, and the EVGO station holds the power delivery for a bit longer. It starts dropping at the 10 minute mark, but unlike the Electrify America session, the power drops off a cliff. And about five minutes later, we bottomed out at only 25 kilowatts. Now, the same thing happened during the Electrify America session. It just took a few minutes longer. And after 16 minutes, both charging sessions are witnessing a power delivery of less than 40 kilowatts. And that's just terrible and quite honestly, unacceptable for the Lyric with such a large battery. After a few minutes, the power draw starts climbing back up and the Lyric gradually pulls up to almost 100 kilowatt on the Electrify America station before experiencing another drastic power drop at 78% state of charge and finishes up the 20 to 80% session in 40 minutes. The EVGO station saw a similar power recovery, but it only peaked at about 90 kilowatt and held that for a while until the station shut off unexpectedly at 69% state of charge. When I plugged back in, it actually began taking in more power, a little more than 100 kilowatt for about four minutes until dropping down to 95 kilowatt when it finished the 10 to 80% session in 48 minutes. This video, as well as all of the videos here on State of Charge, is sponsored by QMerit. Once I've helped you decide which electric vehicle charger you're going to buy, then Follow the link in the description of my videos and have QMerit install it. Okay, so as you can see, the two charging sessions were pretty similar. But now let's take a look at them on paper because that's how you can really see how similar they were. We're going to look at the charging curve graph and then the time to charge graph. First up though, let's take a look at the full charging curve graph of these two charging sessions. You can see in both sessions, the Lyric begins drawing close to its maximum power intake immediately upon plugging in. The EVGO session started out a little lower, but continued climbing until about 35% state of charge, long after the Electrify America session began to ramp its power intake down, which happened at only 27% state of charge. Now, both sessions witnessed this extreme charging power drop all the way down to less than 30 kilowatt, and both experienced the same recovery before leveling out and holding power. The Electrify America session had another drastic drop at 77% state of charge, but recovered quickly. And this is the point when the EVGO session ended without cause. You can see when I plugged back in, it started taking in more power than it was accepting when it shut off, but it did that for about four minutes before ramping down en route to 80% state of charge. This really isn't what you want a charging curve to look like and hopefully General Motors is working on improving it. I'd really like to see them eliminate these drastic temporary drops and smooth out the curve so it looks something like this. If they did that, they would be able to get the Lyric to charge to 80% from a very low state of charge in less than 30 minutes, which should be a standard today with all electric vehicles. Okay, so now let's look at my time to charge chart. I'm going to take a look at 10 minute charging intervals so we can see how the Lyric performs. After 10 minutes of charging, we've added 25% state of charge in both sessions with the Lyric going from 10% to 35% on the EVGO station and 20% to 45% on the Electrify America DC fast charger. So it's pretty safe to assume if you plug in at a low state of charge with your Lyric and you're on a 350 kilowatt DC fast charger, you can figure on adding 25% of your battery in the first 10 minutes, which is pretty good. However, it does go downhill from there. After 20 minutes of charging, the Electrify America station has added 37% state of charge, taking the Lyric from 20% 
to 57%, while the session on the EVgo station has added 33% of the battery, bringing the Lyric from 10% to 43%. Now after 30 minutes, I've added 49% of the battery while charging on the Electrify America station and 45% on the EVgo station. A little bit of a difference, but it's pretty close. After 40 minutes of charging on the Electrify America station, we've added 60%, taking the Lyric from 20% to my end point of 80%. The EVgo station has added back 58% of the battery and brought the Lyric state of charge up from 10% to 68%. So 40 minutes to go from 20% to 80% and 48 minutes to go from 10% to 80%. And I chose those starting points, 10% and 20%, specifically because when you're on a road trip, you want to drive the battery down as low as you can. But a lot of people aren't comfortable taking it down, say, under 5%. So many people are going to be plugging in somewhere around 10 to 20%. And that's why I use that as the starting point. I used 80% as the ending point because with DC fast charging, at least with most electric vehicles, the Cadillac is one of them, this charging slows down dramatically once you get to 80%. You don't really want to stay at the DC fast charger any longer than that because you're going to be waiting a long time just to get a few more miles added. So you kind of want to plug in at a very low state of charge, lower than 20%, and you want to unplug at 80%. And that's why we're using these charging sessions as the model for what you should be doing when you're on a road trip. And it's unfortunate it takes that long. If GM could just eliminate those massive drops that we see in the power and then hold higher power for a longer period, what you would get is what you can see on this graph here. And you'd get to 80% in somewhere around 26 or 27 minutes. And that would be fine for road tripping. So in the first 20 minutes of charging, if you're going to drive at about 70 miles an hour, you can expect somewhere around 5.8 miles of range added for every minute of charging. If you want to bump it up to 80 miles an hour, that number is going to drop down to about 4.3 miles of range added for every minute. Now in the second 20 minutes of charging, as you can see, the charging rate slows down a bit. At 70 miles an hour, you're going to get about 4 miles of range added for every minute. And at 80 miles an hour, drops down to under 3 miles of range added for every minute. Now I want to remind everyone that these numbers are estimates and there are a lot of factors that can affect the driving range of your vehicle like temperature, wind, elevation change, which will then affect how many miles of range is added per minute. So these are just kind of guidelines for you to use when you're on a long road trip and understand if there's adverse conditions, you're probably gonna get even less range added for every minute of charging, depending on how severe the circumstances are that you're driving in. Okay, so as you can see, the Lyric isn't exactly a charging beast. It's not terrible, but there's definitely room for improvement there, and hopefully General Motors will compress that time. We want to see the 10 or 20% to 80% charging session down under 30 minutes, because that makes road trips so much more convenient. And they can get there. Other manufacturers have even... Uh, other cars with large batteries. The Lyric has a 102 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's a big battery pack, but there's other brands out there that have large battery packs and they seem to manage, uh, figure out a way to get that 80% uh, charge in 30 minutes or less. And I think GM will get there, but uh, they do have some work cut out for them on the Lyric. Listen, if this is your first time here at State of Charge, please don't forget, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.